Bama Editions for 2022. Who's going to make the biggest impact? Welcome to the Voice of College Football, SEC. Please subscribe and like the video. All right, here we go with Athlon's selection of the top five newcomers for Bama in 2022. We're going to offer up our selections, and then you can let us know what you think down below. Okay, running back Jameer Gibbs coming in from Georgia Tech. You would think that Bama would be just fine the way they recruited at that position under Nick Saban. They typically have a stable of three to four running backs. And of course, this is the first major one through the transfer portal. But we're hearing good things about Jameer Gibbs. At Georgia Tech, 5.2 yards per carry the last two seasons and over 700 yards rushing. You see the stats below with uh, a rambling wreck team that won only six of 22 games the last two years. So Jameer Gibbs, happy to be at Alabama where he's going to win a whole lot more with the Tide. Brian Robinson's gone. Trey Sanders, Roydale Williams uh, appear to be the uh, guys that will also get the carries out of the backfield for the Crimson Tide. Uh, Jameer Gibbs also had 31 kickoff returns the last two seasons at Georgia Tech. Also coming by way of the transfer portal, Georgia, Jermaine Burton beat Alabama in the national championship game, caught two balls for 28 yards against the Tide, caught uh, 26 for the season, almost 500 yards and five touchdowns, 53 catches the past two years. And of course, Alabama struggled at this position once Jameson Williams and John Mechie went down. Those guys are off to the NFL and uh, Slade Bolden as well. And so they need receiving help. And Jermaine Burton has been a pretty reliable contributor in big games for Georgia. He also had a 57-yard touchdown reception against Michigan in the playoff. And again, two catches against the Tide. He originally committed to LSU after visiting uh, Alabama, but of course signed with Georgia and played with the Dogs in 20. 20 and 21 winning the national championship also through the transfer portal on the defensive side courtesy LSU Eli Ricks four picks as a freshman is one of the top defensive players in the country in 2020 had another interception last year although he only played in six games Eli Ricks is considered one of the better cover corners in college football out of IMG Academy he was also a teammate of Bryce Young at modern day high school in Los Angeles that's out of the transfer portal. Two additions from the 2022 recruiting class, defensive end Jeremiah Alexander, the top-rated prospect in the class, number one edge rusher, top-rated player in the state of Alabama, 17th-rated player in the state of the country overall, regardless of position, at 6'2", which is undersized as an edge rusher, so it's... Um, kind of unlikely that he would be the top-rated player at that position. Uh, he also projects as possibly moving from edge rusher to outside linebacker. He's strong against the run and the pass. Jeremiah Alexander could prove to be impactful for the Tide opposite Will Anderson here in 2022. Also quarterback Ty Simpson. Why Ty Simpson? Bama's got the best quarterback in the country and Heisman Trophy winner in Bryce Young. But Simpson could get the reps that he needs to set himself up for 2023 when Bryce Young most likely moves on to the NFL. Third-rated quarterback in the country, second-rated player in the state of Tennessee, and he was a top 25 player in 2021. Ty Simpson looking to make his move, win that number two quarterback position, and set himself up to be the tied starter in 2023. How about this collection of players? Five-star edge rusher Jihad Campbell out of IMG Academy. He could be a force this year. Also wide receiver Aaron Anderson, again, with the tide struggling in that position uh, this past season with a lot of newcomers, a lot of players that are unproven. Aaron Anderson could make a move as the fourth-rated wide receiver coming out of high school in 2022. Also, four-star defensive lineman Curtis Perry, 11th rated at his position could make a move and be impactful for the tide this fall. And finally, a guy that's already drawing raves from Nick Saban and the coaching staff, Kendrick law, third rated athlete, a top 10 player out of the state of Louisiana. And again, Nick Saban has said nice things about Kendrick law and his preparation and wide receiver for the tide Athlon's top five 
newcomers in 2022. We've added some. We would love to hear from you down in the comments section below. Right here at the Voice of College Football, SEC.